it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and we are here today with day six of the 30 Days of Sketches um, from Christy's Beautiful Wife. And today we are pretty much just doing a shelf um, type um, layout. And I have decided that I am going to use up some of these, um, these cluster strip embellishments that we made couple of videos back I can link that below um because I just want to use them up but it is using the Paige Evans um I think Splendid Collection okay and I have um just some more Fussy Cut Butterflies extra that I have and I have these um these flowers are from Sherry that we did in a partner swap and these um, flowers I got in the um, swap from over on Ginger's Corner for May Flowers. And they were made by Kelly Pyron. So, I love them. They're gorgeous. They match perfectly. Um, and um, I use this piece of paper from um, the v one of the Vicky Booten collections. Um... I think it's Sweet Rush, probably. Um, I'm just going to move all this over because I'm going to do a little bit of um, the packaging technique. I know. Surprise, y'all. Um, and I don't know if I said this was designed by Sarah Davies. Um, but if I didn't, it was designed by Sarah, Sarah Davies. <laughs> Um, there's a Facebook group you can also check out, um, with all the awesome sketches and the other, um, things that other creators have made. And this is a picture of me, um, I want to say taken maybe a year ago. It's just one of those Snapchat pictures. That's about the only time I get on Snapchat is if I'm hanging out usually with the grandbabies or something and I like to snap a picture and every once in a while I'll get one that I like of myself and I'll save it. So I printed that. Um, I like that it's in black and white. And since this cluster embellishment um, says um, she confidently trusts the Lord to take care of her, I thought I would put that on here and I would do a little bit of journaling because um, I have had a unique trip. Um, in this life and the Lord has took care of me every step of the way and there were times when I didn't think I would make it but the Lord did show up and show out and um, so I am eternally grateful that I'm still here and able to be here with y'all um, sharing scrapbooking and crafting and friendship um, so anywho um, I just wanted to, um, since the, since it's going to be like about right in here probably and then the little strips that's down here, um, I just kind of want to do maybe a little bit of, um, putting some ink on here just like so that it'll barely show up around the edges because I want to leave a lot of white space. I did gut this paper, um, with my scissors because my paper trimmer is a guillotine. And so it it's not counterproductive to it's kind of counterproductive to cutting out the center of the paper. But okay, so I am going to use salvage patina and picked raspberry today. And I just remembered that I left my water in I think the kitchen. Um Oh, I have a backup. I have a backup one, y'all. Don't worry. It's only got a little bit in it, but it should be enough. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do the pink first just because um, I want it mostly pink um, since there's a lot of pink in it to draw it in. And there's a pink card on the picture. Um, so, let's see here. And like I said, I just want to add just a little bit. Um, I don't know what because I want a lot of white space left. And hopefully that will be enough. Um, if not, I guess I could 
go back and try to dab in a few more spots. And I think I'll just do one right here. Um, so it'll show up around the edge of that. Okay, so let me wipe this one off. And we'll do the blue. And I don't really mind if, um, if they mix a little bit and turn like purple because there is purple in the, I'll clean this off a little bit and just reuse it. Um, since there's a little bit of purple in the other papers that I'm using in the flowers, I think it'll be okay. Um, okay. Now add just a dab of this. And like I said every day, I hope you're going over on the Facebook group and checking out the playlist below in the description and following along with um, the other people who are playing along with the 30 Days of Sketches. Um, I am loving the inspiration, even those of y'all that ain't on um, YouTube. Um, I have been seeing the work over on Facebook and I love it. it I mean, it's so inspirational to see what everyone is doing with the same sketch. I love it. Um, I usually play along every year, um, but I haven't, um, this is the first year doing it on YouTube with you guys, so it has been fun and an adventure. Um, I am going to use some watered down um, black acrylic paint and just put a few little um, splatters on here. Um, just to help it stand out since my picture is in black and white. It'll, I think it'll add a little something. Okay. And I think that's good. I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it. I want to leave lots of white space. I am very unprepared today. Let me grab a paper towel. I'm just doing this so that uh, it just makes drying time faster. <laughs> I don't like to wait. I like to move on with the project. Okay, so um, I don't know if y'all can still see this stuff over here or not. I don't know if I'm in frame. Okay, so I want to just build my my shelf. Um. I think I want to do this here like she has two photos but instead of um, two photos I'm going to use this as a substitute um, for one of my one of my pictures um, I kind of want to still be able to see the heart on the picture um, let's see and then I want to use these flowers up Um, let's see, I think I'll put this one down here, let's see here, I'm just going to tuck them around to help finish building that shelf, um, I think I'll leave them out on top, let's see here, um, I like that because I want to be able to to see my my strips and stuff and then I could take some of these butterflies and just um, put them around to tie in maybe um, I kind of like that Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking on it. 
I don't know. I kind of feel like it needs something else. Um, I do like the white space. I might go back in and do a few um, black dots and then just let them dry. That way they'll be darker. I think I will. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. And then I'll go back in and put, um, something down for the centers of these other extra ones. Okay, I like that. Okay. Let me do this one first. Actually, I should probably do the picture first. That way, if I need to tuck a little bit of it behind, I can. And I'm hoping this new camera stand is working out. Um, like I said in my last video, I have another one on the way because this one's too shaky for me. And I noticed that if it barely moves, it's um, causing the... Um, video to be in and out and I don't like that like it's causing it to focus over focus or not focus at all so um, I don't like that um, I'm still trying to work out the editing software um, and figure out everything the other um, phone holder I'm getting is um, going to have a light on it. So, I, I mean, I have two lights already that I'm using, but I'm hoping with the new one and it has a light on the actual phone stand that it will cut down on the shadows because the shadows bother me just seeing them while I'm sitting here working. I don't like that. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and put this one down. And this is a great sketch. It used to be very intimidating for me to do um, such a minimal sketch. But now that I'll do a little bit of like smushing and stuff, I enjoy it. Um, I feel like you know, being able to have all the white space and just doing just a little bit of inking adding to it, it gives me the look that I like, like the fullness look, because I, I really like patterns and stuff, so um, I feel like it, just doing that little thing gives me the, the look I'm going after that's more my style. want it over it. I kind of want it under it a little bit. Okay. I think I'll leave it like that and then add something for the center. And you know, if you want more dimension, you can just go through and just bend your petals up a little bit. Um, I don't know if I already said this in another video, but um, in probably in July after 30 days of sketches is over because just filming 30 days of sketches is a lot for me still being so new. Um, I think in July I may start a, um, a flower, um, series on making different flowers and, um, all that on the cheap. So, hopefully y'all will come and join me for that. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want all of these on there. But, then it gives me... I don't know. So, I have one down here. And then I have three here. And then, uh, even though it's an even number, I don't know. I like the blue one better against the pink. We're just going to do that. Um, I really want to work this in. Oh, I might 
just put it right there. I think I will. I think I will. Okay. And then I think I'll go back and just tap in a little bit of this. And then I'm going to do probably my journaling down here. Um, and I will post some pictures um, at the end. And I'm trying to think of what else I might do. I'm, I've not been very good about telling y'all when I change something. Um, but sometimes it is a little bit different. I decide to add some bling or something like that um, after I quit filming. Once I get looking at it more. Um, but for the most part, I'm usually usually pretty done. Um, okay, I'm going to add some bling probably to the centers and to the um, antenna on these that don't have it. That wasn't part of the original clusters. And I will post close-ups. Check out the playlist below of everyone else playing along. And see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.